To start analyzing with Naxport, put a video file onto your machine. Naxport works with most video formats and you can choose where you want to store the video. When it comes to storage, the files you create in Naxport will save to specific locations by default. There is a Naxport data folder located in your documents folder and when you see the window to save files inside Naxport, we recommend that you use the default location that will open. Template files you create go in the Categories folder. The analysis you do creates .NAC database files that are saved in Databases NAC Sport, then MyDBs. Presentations you create will go into the Pres folder. You can access these folders and files to share templates, analysis and presentations with other NAC Sport users. Let's open NAC Sport for the first time and start to register some actions for the video file that is on the desktop. Press register from file to start analyzing and then select the video file you want to use. This will take you into the registering environment. On your first use of Naxport, you'll be prompted to make a new buttons template. There are separate tutorials on how to create buttons templates, but for now we will quickly make a template with two category buttons and two descriptor buttons. The category buttons will make clips and be arranged in separate rows in the timeline. The descriptor buttons are used to add extra information into the registered category clips. When saving the template, you will see that the default folder location we talked about at the start appears, so this new template is saved there. By closing the template editing mode, we can start working with the video and template. Drag your windows around by clicking and dragging the top black bar and resize windows by clicking and dragging from the bottom right corner. The shortcut sheet will show you video playback controls and other useful shortcuts. You can quickly get a reminder of playback keys by pressing the settings button on the video window and selecting video controls with the keyboard. Use this area as a reminder and to change the duration of your video jump controls with the arrow keys. Take some time to get comfortable with the video playback keys so you can become more efficient with your analysis and video control. To register actions, you press buttons on your template that correspond to what you want to register. You can set pre and post times for category buttons, so clips of a specific length are created with one click, or use manual mode so that clips record when you turn the buttons on and off. Descriptors will go into the last press category or any active categories. Active categories are buttons that are in manual mode and flashing to show that they are recording. You can have multiple descriptors going into any active category or a category with a pre and post time that you last pressed. So just make sure that you first press your category, then the descriptors you want to go into that clip. You will see your registered actions appear in the register control window, which is in the bottom left corner here. Another way to register actions is with the independent notes tool. As long as a Naxport window is selected, you can press the control key to open this window and quickly create a notes clip with your text notes. There is a tutorial video on different options for this tool. By right-clicking registers in the register control window, you can see the notes that have been added into them. You can right-click on any registered categories to bring up the small window for adding some notes to those clips. To go to the timeline environment and work with your registered actions, press the button in the bottom right corner of the register control window. You can position and resize the windows in this environment too. There is a reminder of the easiest way to view actions that displays over your video window. When you select one of your category rows, the first clip will play. You can press 2 on your keyboard to skip to the next clip, and 1 to skip to the previous clip. You can also use Q and A to move up and down between your rows for fast viewing of clips in different category rows. 
You can also select rows and clips in the list on the left to watch with a single click of your mouse. To edit clip lengths and check notes and descriptors for your registered actions, we recommend double clicking a register in the list on the left. This will open the register properties window. It will show the information of the register you double clicked. You can easily edit the clip length by click dragging from the edge of the clip in the mini timeline. You can skip to the next register in your selected category by using these buttons at the top or by pressing 1 and 2. Descriptors can be checked, deleted and added in this window too, to help ensure that your analysis is accurate. You can also add notes to your registers here. Useful tools for displaying your analysis inside Naxport are the data matrix and dashboard. There are tutorials on how to use and create these powerful review tools that you should watch. To share your analysis with others and provide more detail, it's best to create a presentation. Use the presentation button to open a presentation window. These will save into the default folder location we mentioned at the start. There are tutorials for in-depth workflows with the presentation window, but we will look at some quick and easy processes here. To start, you can double click a list on the left to rename it. With the list selected, you then select registers in your analysis and press 3 on your keyboard to add them into the list. You can create multiple lists to organise your presentation for different points. Select the list you want to add to, then select individual registers or multiple registers and press 3 to add them. The yellow highlight shows which registers are selected. Any notes already added into clips will stay with the registers when you add them into a presentation. You can drag and drop registers between lists and also reorder them within a list by dragging and dropping. Additional elements like pictures and PowerPoint slides can be added into your presentations to help highlight your points. To add more detail to your registered actions, Double click them in the list on the right. You can add notes to your registers and also edit their clip lengths here. Changes made to registers in the presentation window aren't reflected in the timeline. The best way to highlight your point is by using the Naxport drawing tools or the integrated ClipDraw Basic and ClipDraw Animate tools that are available. Pause your video then press the paintbrush or D on your keyboard to start drawing. Use the different drawing tools to make your point, then save it onto the video by pressing save when you are ready. You can add multiple drawings onto one register. You can easily skip to the next register in your presentation list with the arrow keys to add more details to other registers. Presentations can be played back within Naxport by pressing the play button. In this environment you can edit how you want things to behave and display with the settings button from the options at the top. You can also save your presentation lists as a movie file to share with others by using this option. The menu that pops up lets you change the output quality and file type. If you expand the settings, you can choose if drawings, audio and notes should be on your video for example. The settings you make will be remembered so you don't have to check this every time. When you are ready, press save then choose the location to export the video to. Naxport will then produce your video file which you can share and play back on other video players. The analysis that you do in Naxport is being automatically saved, so you can close the timeline whenever you want to stop. To go back to your analysed events, select My Analysis from the main menu. Here you can see your databases and use the folder trees and search bar to quickly go to different analysed events. When you have selected a database, 
You can use the options on the top of the window to view a dashboard of your analysis, preview the video analysis, then change the video file link to the analysis with this icon. The last two options will take you to the registering environment or timeline environment for your database. Remember to check the detailed tutorials for more assistance, but this should help you to get started quickly.